Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my comic haul for October 13, uh, 2010. Now, this list here is only part of it. I am getting some other titles um, through the mail. Those won't come till Monday, so what I'll probably do is put those with the next week's reviews. Or, you know, I don't know, maybe I'll still do it on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but there's going to be some Batman titles in there. There's, like, the, the Return, Batman Returns one. There's uh, The Warlord of Mars. Uh, superior, and there's a couple other ones I can't remember offhand. But here's the titles that I got this week. Uh, let's start off first with the manga titles so that we don't forget. We have Kakaishi number 23, which is a, like, I did a review on it before, but it's a pretty decent um, action shonen style book. And Gaunt's number 13, which is probably ranking right now as one of my favorite all time comics coming out right now. So, once that's out of the way, let's go ahead and we'll do the uh, Marvel and DC stuff. Um, I'm, this is probably the one book I'm looking forward to reading the most. Uh, the Thanos Imperative, issue 5 of 6. This has just been solid. It's been a real solid read. I'm totally enjoying this. Uh, I'm just hoping that it ends well. But, they've ended the other ones pretty good, so I'm hoping this continues the tradition. Next up is... X-Men Curse of the Mutants, uh, number four. Um, I'm still iffy on this one. We'll see how it turns out. I know the last page looked promising, so we'll see. Shadowland 4 or 5. Now, I know at the beginning I was liking Shadowland, but as the story's been progressing, I've been getting angrier with Shadowland. Uh, we'll see what happens in this one. I do know that there's a a guest star in this which has is in like 16 other books right now so we'll see how that is uh, New Avengers number 5 I'm I scanned this issue and this doesn't happen until the very end so don't get your hopes up uh, it's Amazing Spider-Man number 645 I looked through this and this issue looked really good it was like basically Peter Parker, Spider-Man, kicking butt the whole issue. So, I'm, this is my number two uh, must-read titles this week. On to DC is Titans number 28. I I was not going to buy it, to be honest with you. But I decided, well, alright, what the heck, I'll just get it. We'll just see what how this one is. Uh, Batman does guest star in this. Next up is uh, Justice League Generation Lost number 11. Uh, I'm sighing only because I'm, I'm fearful of this issue. Um, traditionally, you know, they have good week, bad week, good issue, next bad issue, bad. And it, they're due for a bad issue, so I'm crossing my fingers. Green Lantern number 58. Uh, kind of looking forward to reading it, but at the same time, I'm really getting growing tired of Green Lantern, it, and that's only because of burnout. Just so much green and lanterns and burning out. Uh, next up, we have um, Emerald Warriors number three. Uh, same thing. I, I mostly got it just so I can review it, and if this thing fails to deliver, then I'll probably drop the next one. I'll drop it from there. Now I bet you you're wondering why I got Knight and Squire. Uh, this is what I can say about it so far. Uh, one of the guys at the comic store that I go to knows that I made the reviews and stuff. And he, and when he saw me, he was like, you must do a review on this book. And he explained some things to me, and I understand exactly why I must do a review on this book. Um, I'm hoping that it lives up to everything that he told me this book is going to be about. One thing I will say is, even though I am sounding exciting, or sorry, excited about this book, I'm going to give you the warning: don't go running out and buying it right now. Wait until the review. I'll try to get this review up quickly, uh, so this way you will understand exactly what's going on with this one. And next up is the uh, Bruce Wayne five of six, where um, it looks like he's. Um, Kind of a cross between Sherlock Holmes and the question. You know, 
just so you guys have a reference, you know, kind of like the question in a way. And I got the crossed tray paper back, the first one. Uh, my comic store is having a customer appreciation sale. Uh, today was 25% uh, off, and Saturday is 50% off everything. So I was kind of, I should have waited to buy this one at 50% off, but I didn't want to A, forget, and B, run the chance of it selling out. Uh, I am going to go back, though, on Saturday, and there's a uh, couple trades that I'm thinking about buying for 50% off, definitely. Um, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know. Uh, rate the video up or down, let me know what you think. Um, subscribe to the channel. And uh, two, I have two questions for you. Uh, one is, which reviews are you looking forward to seeing the most? So that way I'll try to get those prioritized. And two, what was on your pull list this week? Uh, let me know. And um, until next time.